they confessed that before embracing Islam, there was some kind of emptiness in their hearts. And something was missing there, was missing there in their, li in their lives. Even though they had good job, they had good income, and, and they were never satisfied. They now, what they, no they now feel happier. Why? Because there's a peaceful in, 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 in there's peace in their heart, and they, because they have found God in their heart. God must never be absent in our heart, or in our mind, and in our heart. We always need Allah's help and guidance. We must always confess our weakness and our absolute nothingness before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is senseless to entertain the idea that we are perfect huh? and self-sufficient and that we can find our own way in life without God. Just because from, you see some of the people that say, you know, we have got, we have got, alhamdulillah, we have got children, we have got a uh, uh, house, a good house, a good car, and everything. Oh, so we don't need, why, why should we? I've got a good income, I've got everything. Why do we need Allah? But that is wrong. There's an ayat here in the Quran which I'm going to recite. And if you, re if you listen, uh, if, if you look at the Surah Al Qasas, chapter 28, ayat number 78, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remarks about this false perception that some people have when they say, Innama utituhu ala ilmin indi. Allah says that this had been given to me only because of the knowledge that I, I have. Some people they think, oh, I've got my knowledge. I've been given that knowledge. This is all because of my knowledge that I don't need Allah anymore now. <clears throat> and Surah Al-Fatir, chapter 35, ayat number 15, Allah reminds us that we will always stand in need of him. That means in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, and now is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing to, to the human, human beings, humankind, not to the to mu'min or muslimin. Ya ayyuhal nasu, antumul fuqarau ilallah. Wallahu wal ghaniyul hamid. Oh people, it is you who stand in need of Allah. Allah doesn't need you. It is we, we are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As for Allah, he is self-sufficient and worthy of all praise. Wal ghaniyul hamid. This soul of ours only experience fulfillment and peace if we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our heart, then you will have peace. It is in the remembrance of Allah that hearts find rest. And this is a very famous ayat. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alladheena amanu wa tatma'innu kulubum bi dhikrillah ala bi dhikrillah tatma'innu kulubum. Those who believe and whose hearts find satisfaction in the remembrance of Allah, for without doubt in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest and tranquility. <clears throat> Purification of the soul and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only way that one can attain success in this life and the hereafter. The first step towards achieving success and happiness in this world and the hereafter is to know and to remember and to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To love Allah is what? Is to obey him by doing lawful and desirable things which will earn his pleasure. It's not only the lip service. No, 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 just I, lo I love Allah. We have to follow his commandments. That's, I, that's I, what I'm saying, I'm including myself. We have to follow his commandments. But very few people, we do this, really. Very unsafe, very sad. He is our Lord. Our real happiness and freedom can only be achieved through our obedience to him. We must remember this. We must always remember one thing that whenever, wherever we are, God is always there with us. Now let, let me recite this Surah Al-Hadid, chapter 57, ayat number four. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُمْ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ and he, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is with you, is with us, wherever you may be. And Allah sees what you do. We are forgetting this. And so, uh, and then, uh, okay. In the Hadith al-Qudsi, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah will only be for you if you are for him only. Wa kunli akun laka. It's hard to say, kunsi. Be for me, Allah said, and I will be for you. Be for me, and I'll be for you. Allah created everything for us, but he has created us for him only. In Munajat Shabaniya, which is a beautiful Munajat by our first Imam, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi. Which, which was also by, uh, recited by all the Imams in the month of Shaban, the Imam invokes this. Ilahi, waqad, waqad afnaytu umri fi shirrati sahwi anka. What does it mean? My Lord, my Lord, I have wasted my life committing the crime of forgetting you. This is Munajar of Shabaniya. In the same Munajar is a prayer by the Imam which is quoted by authors who have written books on the subject of spirituality. Ilahi, habli kamalili in qita'i ilayka. My Lord, grace me with the highest stage of detachment with everything and total submission to you. SubhanAllah. And then continuation says, وَأَنِرْ أَبْصَارَ قُلُوبِنَا بِضِيَاءِ نَظَرِهَا إِلَيْكَ And enlighten me, the eyes of our hearts, with the light of its looking at you. The question is, <coughs> How do we cultivate relationship and love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The first step is what? The first step is to know him. Very important. To know him and to know Allah, you need to study and follow the injunctions of the Quran and the teachings of Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam. Those who can show you the way to God are the Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam. That's why uh, the Holy Prophet, what he said when he left this world. He said, I live. I leave behind two weighty things, right? The Quran and my project, my Ahl al -Bayt. If you go with, together, you will never go astray. Our sixth Imam, Imam Jafar Sadiq, salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi. He said, Bina urif Allah, bina ubid Allah. What does it mean? It is through us that is Ahl al -Bayt. It is through us that God is known. And it is through us that God is worshipped. SubhanAllah. Once you know God, then you will develop intense feeling of love for Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without the devotion and love of God in your heart, you cannot experience re real happiness. There was once Nabi Isa salam, was walking in Palestine with disciples. And he passed by a blind man sitting there who was paralyzed and who, he could hardly move. He introduced himself, the, the uh, prophet, and said to him, bahtu ya Abdullah? He was addressing to the man, you know. Oh, the servant of Allah, how do you feel? The man replied, Ya Ruhullah, asbahtu fi ahsan al hal. I'm in the best of conditions. Nabi Isa said to him, no? but you are in the street. You are blind, you are paralyzed, you have no food, and there's no one to take care of you. How can you be in the best conditions? You know what, how, what, what he replied to Prophet Isa? He said, I may have no shelter. I may have no food, no home, no relatives. I'm blind, I'm paralyzed. But I have Allah in my heart. I have my, uh, my Allah in my heart and soul. And I'm always connected to him. Connected to the grace of Allah. I'm, I am the happiest person. And then we said, turned to his disciple and said, did you hear that? This is called Iman. This is called faith. In Dua Arafah, this is I'm ending now. Dua Arafah, Hazrat Imam Hussein Salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi. He invokes to Allah. You know, we recite in, in, the, in the, on the day of Arafah here. And he addresses to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maza wajada man faqadaka. Oh my Lord, the one who has not found you means the one who has not known you. What has he found? 
he has found nothing. And they can, there's a continuation here. They say, And the one who has found you, who has known you, what he has not found you? He has found everything. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the hidayat and wisdom and follow the truth path and protect and guide our men and women and children so that they are able to face these challenges with conviction and belief in their faith. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wal-Asr. Inna l-insana lafi khus illa ladhina aman wa amil salihat wa tawasaw bil-haqqi wa tawasaw bil-sal. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Allahumma laka alhamdu badiyat samawati wal ardu dhil jalali wal ikram wa ilaha kulli imalu wa khalika kulli makhluk wa warisa kulli shayin laysa ka mithli shayin wa wasbi kulli shayin muhit anka Allah la ilaha illa anta al ahadul mutawahidul fardul mutafarrid وأنت الله لا إله إلا أنت الكريم المتكبر العظيم والصلاة والسلام على محمد النبي الرحمة سيد المرسلين وشفي المذنبين نبينا حبيب قلوبنا وطبيب نفوسنا بالقاسم مصطفى محمد وعلى إمام المسلمين وقائد الغر المهجلين أمير المؤمن علي بن أبي طالب صلوات الله عليه وآله وعلى سيدة النساء العالمين وبذرة خاتم النبيين سيدة فاطمة بنت رسول الله صلوات الله عليها وعلى الحسن المجتبى والحسين شهيد بكربلاء وعلي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي مصلاة والسلام الله مصل على مولانا صاحب الزمان القائل المحدي المنتظر اللهم ظهوره إنه يرونه بعيدا ونراه قريبا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله 